Okay, guys, I'm sorry, but we have to see some crazy. I was taking a look at the RTA replays uh, today, and we have to see some of the crazy stuff going on at RTA. Let's just get it started. So, uh, quadruple Ryu team. Uh, Patasaur is such a good sport. Patasaur is just like, let me let through this quadruple Ryu team uh, for the memes. I'm sure that he actually did it for the memes because he respects the memes so much. Uh, he's actually streams, uh, if you guys, I don't, twitch.tv Patasaur, maybe? That might be it. You might be able to find him there. So, this is now a super lockdown, or is it Ganioki lockdown? Yep, as soon as, unless, Violent Proc? No, Violent Proc. Yeah, unfortunately, Ganioki lockdown. However, oh, wait, 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 wait. Fire Ryu is still, is still doing Fire Ryu things. Didn't proc. Wait, was that his first skill or is this his second skill? There we go. First skill. Does he proc? Does he proc more? Was he on, uh... I wonder if the Ryu was on, uh... The spare and just didn't stun. I, wa I want to see some craziness. We're not going to see any craziness. It's the second skill that, pro that procs into the first skill, isn't it? For the Ryu. Uh, I mean... We knew it was probably gonna lose. I just, I had to see it. Unfortunately, the other quadruple Ryu one wasn't really anything fun worth seeing. However, Lest has been using Chi Chi very seriously in RTA and winning. Uh, Lest was the uh, former SW champion, SWC champion. Uh, so, if you guys don't know what Chi Chi does, and you guys, I know you guys don't know what Chi Chi does, uh, just a recap of what Chi Chi does. Chi Chi does uh, skill 3, does damage, heals for 50% of the damage dealt, and also uh, decreases the attack age of the enemy that it's targeting and increases the attack age of your allies. And then the skill 2 is a cleanse for you and the, uh, the uh, you and an ally. Uh, and then the skill 1 is just a heal. See, oh, heal and increase attack bar. And increase attack bar. So yeah, uh, kind of fun. Skill three, skill three, uh, single target kind of nuke, attack age, absorb, and uh, heal. So I just thought it was funny that he's like he's legit using this Chi Chi. I mean, he was using Lulu before the buff even, and he's using Chi Chi now, and as a very serious, he's very seriously using Chi Chi and winning with Chi Chi, not as a joke, actually winning with Chi Chi. I think it's fantastic. I think anyone that uses like crazy stuff and wins and like is good enough to just use crazy stuff and win, uh, they, they, they get a lot of respect for me. More Chi Chi action. Can't wait. We see some Chi Chi. We see some. We don't even see that much Sun Zeng Lao. I think Sun Zeng Lao is actually a nice unit. Masha, we don't see uh, Masha too much. I, I do agree that the uh, Savannah and Barbara are stronger than Masha in general. Um, so that was a. Was that a Swift Gany? Or did he just not Valent proc? Didn't get the strip on the, uh, on the Rika. So, let's see. Let's see. He does have a cleanse. Remember, the, uh, the Chi Chi does have a cleanse. So, lots of CCs. That's a despair on the Rika because Rika did her, uh, little stunny Rika things. It's gonna cleanse on the Masha. Okay, you know what else? The Masha's actually, if we, if we think about it, the Masha's actually a good combination with the Chi Chi because... Uh, Masha's passive will give her extra attack age, uh, or, 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 or stack her, uh, stack her speed whenever something increases her attack age. So, you see that? It's a nice combo with Masha, actually. I didn't realize that at first, but that's actually a nice combination with Masha, so that's, I'm sure, why he's using it. This guy's got some interesting, uh, got some interesting gameplays. Some interesting strategies and resistance. Um... I don't know if anyone else puts very high resistance on Rika. I have a lot of resistance on Rika. I don't know if it was intentional, if I did it on purpose for whatever reason. We also get to see a buffed Vanessa. We really get to see the buffed Vanessa, what Vanessa is actually doing, but uh, yeah. So this one's kind of interesting. It's more, more Chi Chi and Son Zeng Lao and uh, more? Is that what's... Uh, more, more, more. More gets banned though, so we don't get to see more, more. Um, is that double? No, it's not double stacked for the Odin. Also, Odin does not, uh, or Bastet and Veligel don't move first, so. Increase cooldowns. And did not get the only, the only CC he got was actually on the Odin. Okay. 
So uh, Odin wouldn't have had full stacks anyway when he started. He would have had the two stacks from the Veligul. I mean, sorry, sorry, the two stacks from the Bastet, the one stack from the Veligul. Welcome back, Odin. Uh, so he would have had four stacks. So he wouldn't have increased, uh, he wouldn't have fully ignored defense. He would have just ignored, uh, ignored some defense, but not completely ignored defense. Because Odin's, uh, Odin's passive is based on the amount of stacks he has. The more stacks, the more he ignores defense. Uh, five stacks means he completely ignores defense. So. So yeah, he will do more damage the more stacks he has regardless. Even if it's not fully ignoring defense, uh, he will still do more damage because it's still partially. So that's a, that's a GG. He's still uh, controlled. That's just funny to see. I mean, Chi Chi didn't really do too much, did he? I don't think Chi-Chi really did too much, but at least we get to see. Also, Chi-Chi's... The nice thing about Chi-Chi is you can put damage on it, and it also heals, too. Right? So, uh, heals based on 50% of the damage dealt. So, I saw this. Seemed cool. I know there was a few people when uh, Thrain was first, second awakened. First, second awakened. When Thrain was first, second awakened, there were people using Thrain uh, with Gianna and with other uh, strippers. And there was some cool, there was some crazy matches too. There was some crazy matches, there were some cool matches. Uh, let's see some more Thrain. Didn't get the Ragdoll. Okay, so Juno is down. This, this, yeah, this Thrain and, oh my god, look at all those continuous dam- Oh, jeez. This is so brutal. This is so brutal. So we get to see the beauty of uh, Nyx plus Thrain plus Sien. Didn't die. Oh, that's even nastier. That's even nastier. And then the Joker's just going to come back from the dead. Welcome back. They can't really do anything to it, right? They're just going to have to go for the uh, Nyx right now. Gets the cooldowns. And then he didn't have the bomb. Okay. If she had a Violent Proc, if that Savannah would have Violent Proc, that, that was just, that, that, that match was won or lost based on uh, Savannah Violent Proccing or not Violent Proccing. I thought this one would be interesting to see. This is Beat D on the left-hand side, if you guys don't know who that is. On the right-hand side, we have a Light Sea Emperor who just got buffed and a Bella the Dark Cannon Girl. Uh, we'll see. Uh, if you guys are not familiar with Bella the Dark Cannon Girl, she does um, her... She will get an extra attack with skill one after she uses one of her skills. And then if it kills, uh, she will attack again with whatever skill she used to kill the unit. Or she will just die, and that's <laughs> sometimes sometimes that's what she does. So now they have. I want to kind of see this uh, light sea emperor more than the Bella, but uh, yeah, that's why you don't really see Bella too. I actually think Bella's kind of underrated, but she's not like the most premium RTA unit. He's got the Chow in there. I just I just noticed Chow. I just noticed Chow. So he's got double invincibility. Actually, the Chow's second skill goes through. The uh, invincibility, immunity, uh, invincibility and immunity, doesn't it? So, I mean, not that it matters if he's hitting to Sarion. They don't have the invincibility and immunity anyway, but uh, $10,000 Chow. He's hoping for that oblivion. He finally gets the oblivion on Chow. But, yeah. Uh, Two-turn immunity and invincibility is not bad. Well, actually, it changes based on uh, based on the Sea Emperor's passive, but I just thought it would be nice to see him. I don't have the Sea Emperor. I have no idea when we would even get a chance to see him. I'm going to get 35 emails after this bagel. Uh, I have the Sea Emperor. I know you wanted to use him. See, the justice goes through the invincibility. Uh, I know you wanted to use him. I don't have amazing runes. I would say I have C1 quality runes. And then you see it. It's like five-star runes. It's like not max. It's like he's got like 25 crate. I'm like... Oh, no, it's the C, this is C Emperor. It doesn't even matter if he's got 25 card, right? I forgot what we were talking about uh, at first. Yeah, I don't know that they have enough damage to uh, actually go through this, right? Go through this uh, Chow. I think Chow's gonna... Never mind. Chow's gonna die. I still think BT takes this, even though... Additional turn... Well, additional turn... He's going to turn cycle, but that's about it. He's going to turn cycle. He's going to kill that uh, Okinos. No, he's not going to kill the Okinos. I thought he was going to kill the Okinos. So, there you go. Well, anyway, I just wanted to see some uh, Light Sea Emperor. I thought you guys might be interested too. Another Light Sea Emperor. However, this is also Gianna and a Hurtite. And uh, I, you know what I love is that he's using the uh, 
Fire Unicorn. Fire Unicorn didn't really do anything the last match, but I really want a Fire Unicorn. Again, I'm going to get some emails. Bagel, Bagel, I have a Fire Unicorn. You could just use mine. I'm like, no, I want one on my account. I don't want one with your 25 crit rate. Runes. Light Unicorn. Uh, fire, fire Unicorn. Whatever. Okay, so uh, now it's going to Defense Break, Attack Age Absorb, get another turn. Right? There we go. Oh, so beautiful. I think she's an underrated unit. And I'd like to see BD using her because uh, that means I'm right when I say it's an underrated unit. Because he's like, he likes to use underrated units. Les likes to use underrated units too. Some of those guys like to use uh, units you aren't expecting and then win with them. I like those units, man. I like those units. So, Sierra and Jana combinations not getting too much craziness going on. He's really that hurt side's not even doing that much. Look at look at this. Look at look at BT just wrecking these super premium LD fives. Like it's not even that hard for him. And he's like, yeah, I'm just gonna use a Helena, I'm gonna use a I mean Molly, right? Molly is Molly. Uh Xing So yeah. It's the the power that's the power of actually knowing how to play and actually being a good player. And also Molly. And Molly. And and also Molly. All right, guys, that's it for this one. I have no idea if this is going to be a long video or a short video or somewhere in between. I have no idea. I just saw some things that I thought you guys might be interested in, some things that were uh, newer units, some things that were just uh, buffed and changed and whatever. So I thought you guys might be interested in seeing it too. Just some interesting different things. Uh, I thought I would also take a look at, show you guys what the Chi Chi exactly does. I mean, this is just a heal. Um, and this is just a cleanse and a heal. And then this one is the, the big one. It's not anything too crazy, it's just he wanted to use it and he made it work. Uh, attacks the enemy target, recovers the HP of all allies by 50% of the damage dealt, absorbs the target's attack bar by 25% to increase the attack bar of all allies. So anyway, uh, that's it for this one. Again, hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you as always in the next one.